Mother Nature is complex, and mimicking natural extracellular matrix is not a simple feat for bioengineers. QGEL is certainly not better than Mother Nature, but QGEL, as a synthetic copy of natural extracellular matrix, presents certain advantages over other, more simple, synthetic materials. QGEL's building block modularity will allow you to open new dimensions in your research. In this video, you will learn about the different components of QGEL and how it is assembled, or bioengineered, to give you the state-of-the-art matrix technology in a convenient, ready-to-use vial. Based on a polymer structure, QGEL is bioengineered with biological and biochemical entities such as adhesion ligands, protease sensitive sites, and or soluble growth factors. Bioengineering QGEL is like putting the pieces of a puzzle together that gives QGEL the capabilities of native tissue. Let's look at these pieces before we put the pieces together. The first piece, we have PEG, or polyethylene glycol, a fully synthetic, biologically inert polymer. The PEG is the structural component. The second piece is the degradation component. This component is an amino acid sequence that can be enzymatically degraded. The third piece is the adhesion component. This stimulates cells to adhere to the matrix. The fourth piece is the bioactive component, which is optional, that you may incorporate to allow you to trigger certain cellular processes. When QGEL buffer is added, these components react in 5 to 10 minutes via conjugate addition reaction at physiological pH to form the gel. We will now discuss each individual component in greater detail. Let's first look at the structural component. Many existing 3D cell culture products are derived or contain animal or human-derived components. Examples such as collagen and basement membrane tumor extract and fibrin generally have weak mechanical strength that cannot be modified. Moreover, biological variability in these products result in large degrees of experimental error. Probably most importantly, especially in the stem cell field, there is a risk for an immunogenic response or pathogen transmission. Because QGEL is fully synthetic, there is no risk of animal transcontamination. Batches are made according to strict pharmaceutical standards to ensure product reproducibility. As a result, experimental error can be reduced dramatically. QGEL can be either lightly cross-linked to make a soft gel, or heavily cross-linked to make a stiffer, harder gel. This gives you an additional control variable for your investigations. The degradation component is in an amino acid sequence that can be enzymatically degraded. This means that the QGEL matrix degrades exclusively via cell secreted and activated proteases, also called matrix metalloproteinase or MMPs, and not by a passive hydrolysis degradation. The adhesion component of QGEL is an RGD peptide covalently bonded to the QGEL matrix. The presence of RGD allows for cells to adhere and proliferate through the matrix. Importantly, the concentration of RGD has been fixed for optimum cell attachment and migration in QGEL MT3D matrix. QGEL MT3D matrix is available with and without RGD. Although not incorporated in QGEL products as a standard, you have the possibility to incorporate a bioactive component within the QGEL matrix. Examples in the literature include the incorporation of RHBMP2, VEGF, and tethered specific peptides to guide embryonic stem cell behavior. References to these articles and more can be found in QGEL's product documentation you can download from QGEL's website. Now that we have seen the four components to bioengineer QGEL, Let's look closely at how QGEL is assembled, piece by piece. Reacting these four components in the right manner will result in the formation of the QGEL matrix, shown here on the right. To better understand how QGEL is bioengineered, let's remove the components and reassemble the matrix one piece by piece. With only the structural component, the matrix looks like this. Actually, this is incorrect. Without the degradation components, QGEL cannot form any structure and would just fall apart. 
Let's see what happens to the structural component when we add the degradation component. A crosslinker is needed here. Let's see what happens when we add the degradation component. Reactions occur that give Qgel mechanical structure. Qgel products that are degradable and not cell adhesive would look similar to this structure here. Let's take a look at what happens when we add the bioactive component. Now that the adhesion component is added, cells have the ability to attach themselves to the Qgel matrix. Qgel products that are degradable and are cell adhesive would look similar to this structure here. Let's look now at what happens if we add a soluble signaling protein such as RH-BMP2. This is how Qgel is bioengineered. As you have seen in this video, Qgel is a state-of-the-art biomaterial with a modularity that will allow you to venture in new directions to progress in your research. Qgel has been able to combine the components into a stable, non-reacting powder. This results in a simple, ready-to-use vial for your research needs. For more information on Qgel products and technology, please visit our website at www.qgelbio.com.